exploring more than 2,000 years of Japanese history and culture. There's a lot to soak in. Among the discoveries, modern and ancient, what will be your treasures? Part of the Japanese uh, sense of aesthetics comes through in, in even in the streets. Today, like many of the other days that we spent in Japan, there's a big variety of activities that are going to be happening. So what, I, what I'm looking forward to is the variety. Part of the beauty of this temple is that it's embedded against a mountain of trees and it's with this majestic red pagoda rising out from the middle of it. Kiyomizu Dera is a Buddhist temple and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The name comes from the waterfall within the complex. Drinking the water here, according to local belief, conveys wish-granting powers. We've really enjoyed looking at the uh, people who are coming to this temple. There's lots of Japanese school groups. And then at this temple, we've seen a number of young women dressed in kimonos. And that's always so much fun. At every turn, there's something really beautiful and incredibly photogenic. The garden complex at the Temple of the Golden Pavilion is an example of the classical age of Japanese garden design. With a highly intentional relationship between buildings and their landscape settings. We learned that Kyoto was one of the few large cities in Japan really untouched by bombing in World War II. It has a nice, really a beautiful combination of new buildings and ancient buildings. And I love the contrast between the new and the old. So we're enjoying Kyoto. The Higashiyama district, along the lower slopes of Kyoto's eastern mountains, is one of the city's best preserved historic regions. And on both sides there are many uh, restaurants. Oh, she's wonderful. She knows so much about Japan and uh, the culture and the history. And she's so tolerant of questions and questions and questions. It's the same, same thing inside. Whenever we ask her any kind of question, she'll do her best to answer. And if she's not sure, she'll find out and get right back to us. So she's been very, very gracious. The Shinkansen bullet train system began service in 1964. A half century later, it remains among the fastest trains in the world, traveling at speeds up to 200 miles per hour. Experience this technological marvel as you travel 170 miles from Odawara to Nagoya in just over an hour. This place is called Hekitei. This is really an old house of the samurais. People brought in the uh, komatsuna that they harvested in the farm. And they are going to learn how to make rolled sushi that is called makizushi in Japanese. So today you are going to learn how to make makizushi. From now, we are enjoying making sushi roll. But uh, before that, I'll show you how to make sushi roll. Hmm? This bamboo mat, this is present for you from oh. owner Michio-san. Oh. 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 You can bring back your home. Mm -hmm. Sushi means sour tasting, a reflection of its distinctive culinary heritage. Fish was fermented in rice and then eaten only after the rice was discarded. Fish. That's very easy. 
very easy. You are now. Very easy. Easy for you. Difficult for me. Good. 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 Good from all the intellectual learning and to actually have hands-on and a lot of fun laughing at ourselves, trying yes. to do something that we can't really do very well. This is yeah. the way it's nice and tight. The husband's falling apart, loose nuts. Oh, no <laughs> need to point that out. It speaks for itself. These are the cooked vegetables in the plate. And this brown one is fried tofu. This 300-year-old house was that of a famous samurai in the region. Samurai warriors included men, women, and children, all trained in the martial arts. been so many great little experiences mm. that you can't pick your favorite one. The land of the rising sun. What experiences lay ahead for you here on a journey to this ancient island nation? We set off to see temples and shrines and we ended up by having such a wonderful time just interacting with the people. <laughs> Japan is a, a beautiful country filled with very, very polite people. We knew we would enjoy this trip. The house in front, this is used as a kind of a, a museum. And on the on the right side, this is still used by a family, yeah. I uh, was grown up in the uh, Chiba prefecture uh, near Tokyo. That was uh, the little uh, fisher town. I'm very uh, interested in uh, history and traveling. So I work as a tour leader uh, at the same time uh, I study myself old and the uh, middle and the modern uh, history of Japan. Of course, uh, we'll visit the famous and beautiful sites or the uh, uh, temples, but also uh, I try to include the other things uh, which can be uh, very memorable to the travelers. Japan has uh, the very long history and of course the uh, very beautiful nature and I find that the travelers are very much impressed with the beauties of the Japanese gardens or the uh, uh, buildings or the statues of the uh, Buddha. Kenroge of course is uh, one of the uh, most beautiful gardens in Japan. The cherry blossoms, uh, they bloom for only a short while, uh, at most uh, the two weeks, and it's gone. This uh, fits to the Japanese people's sentiment. <laughs> 